Well, it's an investigation, so I can't say too much. Well, I mean, if, yeah, what are you investigating? The county. For what? Can I help you, sir? No, I don't need help. You don't need help? Nope. You have business in this building? Yeah. What's, what's your business in the building? Uh, it's my business, not yours. But as long as I work here and... You work I'm, for the people, don't you forget it. Sir, I'm going to ask you nicely. I would like to know what your intention in this building is. Well, it's none of your business. Okay, I'm going to be in contact with the Sheriff's Department. Because I am sheriff. afraid you're not here for not legitimate sheriff. business. We can videotape the area. Yeah, I'm outside the courthouse, though. So. But you're still videotaping the courthouse. Yeah, I'm in public. If you notice, there's a sign right here. Mm -hmm. Just taking some photographs. And that's allowed? Oh, yeah. No. What's that? Who's authorized that? James. James who? James Madison. Just taking some photographs of the office. Why? Uh, first story I'm working on. Uh, I'm, no, thank you. I mean, I don't even know who you are, so. Oh. Can you please tell me who you are or something? Well, I'm just a journalist. Just okay. Citizen journalist. I know, but do you have access to be in the building, sir? Yeah. It's a, public, it's a public building. I know, but... I know, but... Listen, y'all. These kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school bathroom no more. I'll take care of you, son. i give you anything you want. i discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? You know, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. Hey. Ball of I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told you, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today in Schoharie County. And uh, here to perform a First Amendment audit and civil rights investigation. Here, a little town in New York, here in the mountains, eastern New York. Today is March 14th, bright and early. Let's go ahead inside and do our civil rights investigation and employee conduct check and uh, make sure they respect our rights and us. Got some monuments down here to the firemen. Disregard metal detector and go around. Oh, um, no, I need help. Yes. 
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I think I felt that out. Um, is it new? Do you need to update it? No. Or is it new? Oh. Oh, the form is down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Got the real property tag. How you doing? Good. What are you doing? Just taking some video. Who are you? I'm sorry? Who are you? Oh, uh, just a member of the public. What's your name? My name is Dan. And why are you taking video? Just something I'm working on. Something we can help you with? No, I'm all set. I don't need help. Cam back right there. Just opening the door. What are you having for breakfast? Ooh. I don't know. What are your purposes of your videos? I'm sorry? What's the purpose of your videos? Um, I'm just disseminating information to the public. I'm a journalist. What? So what, what kind of information? Just anything I can see. For what reason? Well, it's an investigation, so I can't say too much. Well, I mean, if, yeah, what are you investigating? The county. For what? I can't say. It's Like I said, it would impede my investigation if I give out too much information. What's your last name? Oh, I don't give that out. <clears throat> Is there somebody that you're doing this for? Somebody yeah. Somebody we can talk to? It's definitely something I'm doing it for, but I can't disclose that. Interesting for the property tax office. I just got some of Jim's. Um, nice. Yeah. It was nice. I got a little uh, bagel. Bagel. If there's anything we can do to help you. Yeah, if I need help, I'll let you know. Thank you, I appreciate you. Video. Huh? I'm taking some video. Of what? The county building. Oh, okay. Okay. How are you doing? Pretty good. Morning. 
Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Anything we can help you with? Um, no, I'm all set. I just down here to take some photographs of the county. Sure. Yeah. What, well, what's this for, can I ask? I just had a curiosity. Oh, I'm just a journalist working on a story on the county. Oh, okay. Great. All right. Can I get your name? Margaret. Are you uh, here are the like a deputy clerk? I am. I am a deputy clerk. Larry's, yeah. yep. Executive deputy clerk, yes. Yes, down here, take some photos, and uh, that's all I need. Sure, but any public areas you, you can, sure, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I do have to close this one. But. Good morning. Is there a records room like uh, deeds and all that? That's considered our records room. That's it. Oh, there's not that many yeah. books and the deeds books are open all to the public. The yeah. All computerized. They are. Nice. Yeah. 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 Probably the first county building I've ever seen that has doesn't have the old manual books still. We had. Yeah, they were sad to see them go. Yeah, but yeah. Are they like in storage or just gone? There are, I think, 25. After the flood, everything went down to Texas to uh, be chemically sterilized and salvaged, whatever could be salvaged. I think, um, and Nicole can tell you as a records clerk, I think 25 of the books came back, right? Nicole, 25 of the books came back, actually, we right? We have 25 of the original books yeah. that cover orders, mortgages, deeds. Yeah. Because of the severity of what they undertook during the flood, they tried to save what they could to be digitized, but then we had to have the health evaluation of bringing back actual physical records because of the mold, the mildew. They had to go through gamma radiation, freeze drying, all that type of stuff, so. How long was this flood? The flood was in August of 2011. 2011? Yes. Yeah. Does this area so, flood often or is it? Not, not to that historic. I mean, you can see there's a water line here, roughly. That's how high the water was in here. Yeah, I don't know. here. And unfortunately, the records were feet. all stored in the basement, so that's where they stored the records back in the day. So, all the records that were stored got. That's kind of a neat historical line, huh? Yeah, that's approximate. I mean, depending, it, it was different, varying heights um, at different times, but yeah. Um, there's a book. Uh, did you see that case? Yeah, I seen the case. Yeah, yeah. So there was just for historical purposes. We do purposes. have some. Yeah. So this kind of shows what the room looked like and how you can see the mud and everything and the water lines. Um, that was the dam when the flooding occurred. And then you can kind of just see like how yeah. everything the undertook. Boats were, the yeah. boats were just floating. Yes. Here. However, and then oh, you had your man. mold. What a mess that had yeah. to be. Yeah. So, yeah, this was I mean, just, that's just an idea of PowerPoint. how things were. This was in Middleburg and Fulton. You weren't around, obviously, at the time. No, I'm yeah. not from the, this local yeah. area. I'm yeah. from New York, but. Yeah. What's this for? Can I ask? I'm just curious. Uh, I'm just a journalist. I do yeah. stories on county buildings mm -hmm. across New York oh, wow. and. Yeah. Uh, 
So this is great. So I've been to a lot of county books, so I was kind of surprised not to see actual records. Yeah. Yeah, we're all digitized, and a lot of counties are going to that now anyway. Yeah, a lot but of that the, was, uh, that's right in Schoharie yeah. here, Bridge Street. This was Middleburg. I mean, the creek is over here, and the road is here. So, I mean, that's a, it, it's a really long distance of the, the flood came, but um, that's the county building here. By the school. It's right in the village, down by the church. And so this doesn't happen mobile. too often around here. Where no, no, like it was. That, huh? They said it was like a what, 500 year 500 flood, year flood or something yeah. like that. We've had other floods here. '96, it flooded pretty, pretty bad, and it got a couple feet. Not uh, destroying the places. records, though. Huh? Not to the point of destroying records. Yeah, this is the, the old church, which is now a gym now down. This is just the Middleburg. records, the whole town. Yep. Everything. The yeah. area. Everything lost had a lot of houses. Our DMV windows, which is right over here, they had to release it because the carbon monoxide was building up. And that's one of our doors in the county building. This is the lobby you just walk through. <laughs> that's after the fact. The after the fact, when they could, people could get back in. I mean, it was days there. before people could get back in, before it receded. They had to wait for it to recede. Um, that's our motor vehicle office. Oh, yeah, it was a mess, and it was a nasty, smelly, disgusting, mucky mud. mud. It was like s clay and just nasty, nasty stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. Look at that. That was that safe, wasn't it? I believe that. Is yeah, the, the one, old. Yes. There's an old safe over there, 18 circa 1800s. Oh wow! Uh, they got it cleaned up. And we used it for quite a long time until the me lock mechanism was getting a little funky because we used to put our money in there every night, um, and then. There's our clerk's office, which is a different configuration now. The counter went this way instead of lengthwise. So, yeah. That's there's our books. Yeah. This, these walls used to be filled with books. And that's the impact of the mold. Yeah. And the water and the damage. Got this fuzzy white mold that just, within days, because it was August, so it really, it was hot, so it just molded so quick. Oh. Yeah, the searchers used to come in. It was our maps. Yeah, we have like these map this, cabinets yeah. here. All the maps. Book and the yeah. people that were here to help do the damage control. Well, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot of organizations and yeah. Larry stuff. Oh, that's the management office. Yeah. The basement where all the records were filed. That's the cup. Four feet of water and in that picture. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this like this was filled. Ceiling tiles had yeah. completely yeah. come down. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the Obviously basement. Obviously, it was so four foot up here. <laughs> right, it was the full, full basement plus up here, yeah. That's crazy. How many, tra like 10 tractor trailer loads? We sent 10 tractor trailer of, loads. Of rock of documents down to Belf Belfort in Texas. Yeah. And we got over 8 million digitized images to work with. All those old books, handwritten, mm -hmm. priceless. It's beautiful, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. Is the county clerk in today? He will be in probably shortly. I would expect him any time now. Um, but yes, that's Larry Kazza, our newly elected county clerk. So, All right, well, yeah. I gotta anyway. scroll through yep. the rest of the county building. I yes. appreciate you guys giving sure, me Sure, yeah, no problem. Give no me problem. a yeah. expect explanation why where all the books went and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A, tour, kind of. a lot of yeah. people walk in and go, it's not what it used to be. Yeah. But, but you know, the attorneys at first like, oh no, we don't have the books. But now it's all, they can do it from their home or office. And I think they've gotten used to it and they kind of like it because you could just go click, click, click. Instead of having to pull the book off the shelf, open it up, flop it on the copier. You know, they, so I go to a lot of county buildings and I actually do civil rights investigations. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that a lot of these counties do is say you can't take photographs of the documents. Mm -hmm. There's no law that says you can't. Secondly, yeah. First Amendment, freedom of the press, because everybody has the right to take photographs in public. So anything that's open yeah. to the public Absolutely. is open to the camera. Yeah. So sure. that's part of what I do yeah. is go through the buildings and make sure nobody's going to have a fit that I'm rolling through with a camera. Oh, no. And, uh, no, not at all. No, so like I, I said, it's put, to, these are public like, documents. First thing I do when I go to a clerk's office is look for the signs that say no photographs. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
it's like right. it's all public information. It's available online. Yeah, most free. of the stuff is online nowadays. Yeah, but absolutely. The most of these counties, um, you know, we we need our sixty five cents for that copy, and uh, you guys don't even have that option to get sixty five cents a copy anymore. Just about they're all online, and the books are gone. But yeah, yeah. I mean, if somebody wants a copy, it's fifty cents yeah. a page. You know. Yeah, we, we, we do the work right. Yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, right. so it's yeah, everything is uh, yeah open. Uh, yeah. So. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Come in and, you know, search for they if they don't have a home computer, they can come in. So, yeah. Alrighty. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you have a business card or anything? Or? Uh, I don't have one on me. Okay. Are you just a freelance? Yeah, kind of. I'm sorry, you missed a county clerk. He's usually here by now. Oh, uh, he just walked in and walked back out. He did. Okay. Yes. I'm already catching him. So if you want to catch him, yeah, Larry Caza. Yeah, he should be coming. Usually meet usually the county clerks. On. Yeah. That's All great. Right, what was you. your name? My name is Dan. Dan? Okay, nice to meet you, Dan. Yes, okay. Take care. It's all courthouse in here. Yeah. Technically, no cameras in no here, okay? Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you can't videotape yeah. that. Yeah, I can't go in there, right? No, no you, you can't, can't do that. The area. Yeah, I'm outside the courthouse, though. So. But you're still videotaping the courthouse. Yeah, I'm in public. If you notice, there's a sign right here. Yeah, no video recording okay. courthouses or hallways thereof. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures of the county oh. and the county building offices. For what though? I just mean, a, I'm working on a story. I'm oh, an okay. independent journalist, just getting some yeah. photographs of the offices and what's available. Well, make sure you get our tree. Yeah, I our see. It. Lots of people have here. these. Uh, well, we started it, so. Yeah, you guys started. We started it. <laughs> There's quite a few places that have trees like that. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just had a super quick question. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Um. They got their St. Patty's Day tree. We'll be throwing the snowballs. Guys are funny. you can get to from here.
This old drunken fountain there. Pour that on the wall. I don't know if I've ever seen one like that before. Must be lost and found. Good morning, this is for Kathy. This is for Kathy, it's my heat. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm all set. I just take some photographs. And that's allowed? Oh yeah. No. What's that? Who's authorized that? James. James who? James Madison. They must know James. <laughs> 59. <laughs> I'm not good at math, so I couldn't. <laughs> The elephants and the donkeys. <laughs> yeah, we can't let you back in here. Yeah, I'm not coming back there. I'm just gonna close this, please. Well, you guys got the good public candy, huh? That's why I'm here. I'm here to rob all the candy. Pretty good. I'm just down here to take some photographs of the office. I don't need help. Sure. Grab yeah. a few photos and be on my way.
this chocolate in my pocket. Oh, magnets. Oh, I actually don't need any help. I'm just down here taking some pictures of the office. Excuse me? Oh, I said I actually don't need any help. I'm just taking some pictures of the office. Why? Just something I'm working on. Where are you? Where are you from? Me? I'm from New York. But why are you taking <laughs> pictures of the office? Uh, it's just a story I'm working on as a journalist. Okay. So you work for a paper? Um, I really can't disclose exactly too much more because it's an investigation. So, without if I disclose too much, it might impede my investigation. But okay. Well, I don't need any help. I'll just take some photos. Call, um, downstairs. Yeah. Woody. Can I get your name? No. No. You work for the public. Well, right? you're not giving me your name or any information. So you work no. for the public, right? What is the public printing the paycheck? I can't the speak name? for the county. That's he the problem. Work so. the health department. Oh, okay. Could you come up for a few minutes? We have a guy that's taking pictures of the office and won't give us. Oh, okay. All right. Hello. How you doing? Good. Okay. Yep. Hello. He's in one of our secure areas. Yeah, I'm not going to go back there or nothing, but I can't get your name. Why do you need my name, though? Well, you work for the public. Well, my name is Kim Euler. Kim? E U L E R. Okay. My name is Dan. I'm just an independent journalist. I'm just taking some photos, see what's available, disseminate to the public. Okay. We're just being careful because, you know. Yeah, I mean, you guys check. Just find out it's cool. For the county, so. No, that's cool. Okay. Thank you. You guys have a nice day. Get some education rolling. It's just one of those things that I like, you know, when I see expeditionary now, office. Like, you know, did something more than being in, in garrison. You know, that's my brain. How's it going? Pretty good. He was there for a year. So that, you know, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm, no, I'm not pushing into the validity of it. I mean, it's something he did in the 90s and he did more time in the military. He did guard time and reserve time, you know, so it's, I'm not questioning the validity of the award. I'm just trying to, in my brain, put it together to see if I can get him something, like free health care. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh my Lord. Some guys just walking by with a camera is freaking me out. <laughs> no, I'm just dying to take some photos. Like, I'm not even here. Oh, no, you're here with a, with a flag on your shirt. Oh, yeah. Are you a veteran? I am not. I but just, you're wearing a flag. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I like patriotism and. Uh, you're in the right place. That's, it definitely looks like it. <laughs> so, well, all right, Sergeant Major. I appreciate your, uh, your, your answers. You helped me very much. Thank you, Mike. Yep, bye. I like your office too. Oh well, I'm a, I'm a veteran and I'm the veteran service officer for the county. Yeah, can I come in your office? Please do. <laughs> wait, wait. What are you taking pictures for? Uh, I'm an independent journalist. I just disseminate information to the public. What's available, what the offices look like, the artworks on the walls and stuff. 
That's why this hawk is. Right. So I'm I am all about red, white, and blue. My office is so I am the yeah. county veteran service officer, and my job is to get veterans um, what they're entitled to through their service um, through the VA, be it service connection, pension, or pension with aid and attendance, or if they're a widow of a veteran, um, they may also be eligible. So, and there's property tax exemptions, um, there's different things, so, you know. Can we do your cards here? Oh, please do. You know, um, I now have a peer-to-peer -peer advocate, that's Chris Dick's store. His job is through a state grant, Joseph P. Dwyer. Um, his job is about veteran suicide, and his whole job is about getting vets out and about. So we have um, some breakfasts and lunches, and we have, he's putting together, he has put together um, four camping retreats for our county. Um, we have range day. You could talk to him. I mean, he does all these amazing things, but his whole job, my job is the boring paper job to get vets uh, money that they're entitled to by, you know, their service. Boring but necessary. Yes, but I love my job. I truly have the best job in the world. How long were you a vet? I was in the military uh, 17 and a half years. 17 years? And I was medically retired. What uh, department? Army. Army? Army, yep. Very proud of my service. What, 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 part, what, what was your uh, duty? Oh, was MOS, my MO, I was a... I was a big bad dental tech. Uh, I was a dental assistant. It's so important. It is, oh no! Well, it's funny because you don't. <laughs> Everybody think about knows it. the worst thing they could have is a toothpick or uh, something in their eye. But that's the thing. It's like people are like, "Oh, you're a dental tech." I'm like, "Yeah," but think about it. You get a dental, you know, toothache or something in combat, and you can't think about shooting somebody because you're you got a toothache. So dental, and you can't deploy if you're certain classes, and so dental is a big thing in the military. Yeah, the two things you can't ignore: something in your eye and a bad toothache. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, no. But I love my job. I got the best job in the world. You definitely have a beautiful office. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love my office. Full of stuff. A lot of this stuff actually, um, vets or widows that I've worked with, they've they've given to me, you know, through what I've done, you know, just, they're like, oh, please take this, hang it in your office or whatever. So yeah. I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. I have the best job in the world. I, that wish, actually, I like that one. I, um, the flag. one of my female vets. Is this plastic or is this wood? It's wood. He it's actually put, cut he put in. the different pieces together and sanded it down and gave it the brown, whatever. I with think I've seen somebody on YouTube make one like that. Right? So he made that. So it looks like it's waving. But yeah, that's all wood. Isn't that yeah. awesome? Yeah, it's um, beautiful. My name is Dan, actually. Hi, Dan. I, I, I do civil rights investigations. Mm. Oh. And I, you know, fight for the Constitution and I change unconstitutional policies and and uh, expose corruption in government. Oh, nice. And that's why I, I wear the Constitution. Very nice. Shirt, well, and, uh, that's perfect. I don't usually tell people who, who I am and what I do, but since I'm here and you're so nice, I'm going to tell you so you can maybe even look up some of my work. Um, I have a YouTube channel called Auditing Erie County. Oh, Erie County, wow, you're way yeah, from home. I'm a little ways from home. You are. I, I travel across the state. Um, and uh, I'm also in the American Legion, and we are all about, like, I sit on, I have yeah, a I got a question for you as commission. far as the American Legion in that. Someone who wears a shirt has never been a flag, but looks like the American flag. Is that a, code, a flag code violation? Technically, yes. Even though it's never been a flag? Correct. You're not, you, you, technically, yes. But I, I, yeah, if I, it's I, never been a flag, I, I, I enjoy some, looking at the flag and stuff like that. Um, but if it's been a flag, then it's totally wrong. Yeah. It should never. Yeah, if somebody ever. cut up a flag to make a shirt. That's why I say to people all the time, and somebody's like, oh, that's a cold flag, right? It's like, oh, this it has is. never been a flag. It's never it's, been a flag. You can tell it's, it's never printed. been a flag. It's, it's a printed. printed flag. Yeah, it is technically a cold flag. But, you know, it, it uh, it's all about interpretation. Yeah, getting ahead of the game here in April. Well, I need yeah. to be able to look and see what's... <laughs> this is actually the Women's Memorial in D.C. Right before you go into Arlington, there's a Women's Memorial. I don't know if you've ever been down there. It's beautiful. But um, I sent... I support I've them. I've been to D.C. once. And uh, so... But I have to... That way I can look ahead in life because, you know, life changes too fast. So. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, no. It's, we, I have the best job in Chris... He's phenomenal. He's he's a combat vet, and uh, but he does all these incredible things about. But that's awesome. Yeah, no, was I sit on a federal, uh, the National American Legion Commission, and we're all about changing VA laws to uh, better take care of our veterans. 
That's I was actually just down in DC in February. Love this office. And, uh, thank you. It's so patriotic. <laughs> Like I said, yeah, if you want, you uh, can check it out on Auditing Erie County on uh, YouTube or you just Google it. It'll show Google, up. I don't go on that stuff. I'm, but, I'm uh, old. <laughs> you'll but, be able uh, to yeah. see how uh, I've done every county building That's west. so cool. And That's you can so see cool. how every uh, veteran's office reacts to someone just walking in with a camera taking photographs. Well, that's why I asked you when they're like, oh, wait a minute, who are you? <laughs> no, I, I have nothing to hide here. And if, you know, there's an agenda that you support, especially that's going to help veterans, I'm a thousand percent behind. I definitely support my vets. You know, that's... that's they'd be asked if I was ever in the service. And to be honest, I just didn't have have it in me to go into a service where somebody's going to tell me where I got to go, what I got to do. And, and you know what? That's, so the people who do do that, I got I got to have the utmost respect yeah. for them because they... You know, getting out of school and getting out of my mom's house. I was like, nobody's telling me what to do anymore. Right. And then, well, uh, I joined the Army. I was 23 when I joined the Army. And I came home from the recruiter and I said to my mom, I said, yeah, I just joined the Army. And she looked at me really funny. She says, you and your mouth joined the Army? <laughs> but uh, I'm very black and white. And uh, so I fit in the Army very well. But I've, it was just funny. She was like, you and your mouth? <laughs> I've had a veteran's office lock me out of the office because I was in there with a the camera. Nothing Violation of the First Amendment. But Freedom I, but press. I, and I, have, I mean, all. I, I mean, I can see HIPAA because I have a lot of HIPAA stuff in here. But my HIPAA stuff is away. I don't leave my HIPAA stuff out. Right, and that's and what, like sometimes that's part of what we do is to make sure that people ain't leaving people's personal information yeah, out and no, bring it to awareness. All, it's all away. So why am I worried awareness. about you? I have nothing to hide from you. I mean, it was very nice meeting you. You too, sir. And a very Good beautiful luck. office. One of my favorites so far of the oh, county. Oh, glad. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your day. Stay well. See ya. Information services. The bottlehead guy. How you doing? Can I help you? Um, actually, I don't need help. Just taking some photographs of the office. Why? Uh, first story I'm working on. I'm, no, thank you. I mean, I don't even know who you are. So, oh. can you please tell me who you are or something? Well, I'm just a journalist. Just okay. Citizen journalist. I know, but do you have access to be in the building, sir? Yeah, it's a public, it's a public building. I know, but this is an IT office, so I don't need. This is public access right here into the building. Okay. Can I have your name, sir? I just can't go past here. Can I have your name, sir? Uh, my name is Dan. And you're with? Myself. Okay. Okay. No, sir. I don't need any help. I'm just taking some pictures of what the office looks like down here. Okay. Can I get your name? My name is Gretchen. Gretchen? Yes. It's nice to meet you, Gretchen. Thanks. We got a TI down here. In the IT department. I don't know.
you got a TI and the IT. That's a triggered individual. The information technology. our public employees say about us when they think we're not around. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and take our seat in Bill seat, the chairman of the board. I have to say down here in Skahara County, get you guys your view of the county building, chairman seat, meeting room. And I have to say, the law enforcement is pretty well educated, and they're not going to violate our rights here. Um, it's definitely new and a newsflash to some of these people. So, as far as I can say, it's pretty good on behalf of the law enforcement here, educating the people when they call. But some of these employees, boy, they have some entitlement of uh, things. And you, I don't know if you guys heard, I just heard that they talk about making people scan IDs to come in a county building. Not a good idea. We will be back if we ever heard something like that happen. Um, just did a revisit to Cayuga County and we removed that system there. So don't violate the constitution or you'll cause more attention to you guys. 
itself. So that's a word of advice and warning to the county of Schoharie County because the constitution violations won't be tolerated by the Erie County fam. Old town here, up to the mountains. I see on the elevator it's got a B for basement. Is there any yeah, public access? Yeah, all there is there? is a training room and a break room down there. Down there? Yep. All right. You work for the Sheriff's Department? Yes, I do. Nice job on the de escalation, and <laughs> I see you guys are educated on the First Amendment. And <laughs> no, uh, I heard, no, come up here. But there's a guy video recording and educated yeah. over the phone, right? Uh, you're absolutely fine, sir. As long as you're not in the secure areas or what have you, you're absolutely fine. Cool. Can I get your name and badge? It's Deputy Wood, 114. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. See if we can meet Larry. Hello. Just on my way out, I was gonna see if Larry was uh, available to shake a hand and say hi. I can if, check. Yeah, he's available. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Larry. Larry, I'm Dan. I'm an independent journalist. I go around from county building to county building. I've been eventually making them all here in New York. I've been through more than half of them, and I uh, like to always shake the hand of the county clerk and meet them and uh, thank you. Come check out the records room and that. So I hope you found everything uh, where it ought to be. I, and <laughs> the only thing I didn't find is all those records that got destroyed by the flood, which is crazy <sighs> because that's the first I've seen of that. But that's really yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, we're very lucky. We have so many things digitized, um, both before and after the flood, with uh, with uh, all the deeds going back to the start of the county and, and a great deal of the mortgages and what have you. All those so handwritten, priceless in, documents. Yeah, a lot of books. That were, were you the county uh, clerk at that time? No, I was the deputy county deputy. clerk. Uh, Indy Jaycox was the one who How saw us the through the clerk? flood. I just started in January. Just, I was elected last time? November. Yeah. Nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much time. I just figured I'd stop in, say hi, see if I could shake your hand and uh, Appreciate introduce it. myself. But it was nice meeting you and uh, very nice Thank county. You. Thank you very much. Where would we uh, see any of your work? Um, Where will that be? I usually don't tell it because it's a civil rights investigation because a lot of the counties I go to have no photograph signs in the clerk's offices and the records room, but everybody did here so well and I'm all the way out. But my channel is called Auditing Erie County. Oh. I'm, I'm, you might have started I'm in Erie County, I'm so traveling, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I'm home, home is Erie County, Buffalo, New York area. But um, you can check out the channel. You can see how all the other clerks did all the way up to this point. <laughs> all right. Because every county, you know, west of here, I've been to. I've been to all them county clerks' offices, and I've been to all them county buildings, and some are dynamite explosions you walk in with a camera and people are freaking out <laughs> and then some are you know like this county is pretty pretty decent a few few ti's which we call triggered individuals they see a camera and they're like but um yeah no constitutional policies no uh gripe about the well, camera we, we've had our share of ask uh, questions but of notoriety over the years because of the limo incident I and the calvin that. harris trial that was here and um uh the hussein trial that was here after the limo so Cameras are not unusual to the place, but um, it's always nice when people are respectful and we try to be the same ourselves. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting y'all. Yeah. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, you know where to look for it. I don't know when your story will air, or this one specifically, but there's probably a few stories ahead of it. But you guys are definitely on. not on the, the hairy end of things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very you much. Please have a nice weekend. Take weekend. Care. You too, sir. Thank you. Can I help you, sir? No, I don't need help. You don't need help? Nope. You have business in this building? Yeah. What's what's your business in the building? Uh, it's my business, not yours. Okay. Who are you? Do you have a specific office you're trying to go to? Who are you? I'm the head of the IT department. I have a complaint. Yeah. So I'm just asking. I would, I would get your employees under control then. Okay. I, th I think you guys. I think you, I think you guys need to understand who owns this building. 
uh, who owns the building? The people. The taxpayers. This isn't her building, this isn't your building. But as long as I work here and You I'm, work for the people, don't you forget it. Sir, I'm going to ask you nicely. While I'm here and security is my responsibility, I would like to know what your intention in this building is. Well, that's none of your business. Okay. I'm going to be in contact with the Sheriff's Department. Because I am sheriffs. afraid you're not here for not legitimate sheriffs. business reading. I am here for legitimate business. No, I think Take you're photographing photo. Take, our systems and our securities for not so correct purposes. Well, and I'm that's my job everything. to safeguard. What are you safeguarding? The, the walls, technology the pictures? and the security of this building. You guys got some top secret stuff here? We have a right to secure information, personal information. We have a right to secure the building. Right. But not in the publicly accessible areas. No, but I'm not sure you're here for rightful business. Yeah, I think you're now, here your to ca what's cause trouble during the next election cycle by photographing and recording Scott? all our is that you, securities. You're Scott? I am Scott. What's your name, sir? None of your business. Okay. I will be filing a complaint to the sheriff's office. Ooh, I'm going to ask you to sheriff. leave unless you have actual business in this building. I mean, I'm leaving right now anyways, that's but good. now I might come up to the IT department again. That's not accessible to the public. It is publicly accessible, bud. Uh, no, no. The IT center is a secure center housing information. It's got a counter that you can walk area. right up to. Scott forgets who he works for, guys. So, the IT department down here definitely forgets who they work for. Um, you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments section. I don't know who he thinks he is. Or thinks that we're going to interrupt the next election cycle down here i think this guy watches too many movies um you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about Spahari county hey, we live in society now where people want to recall how they discipline their child people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child you can't you can't discipline your child in their room take something away from them if they act up well, i'm like son you can't play the game i'm mr erie county you pull the constitution out of your pockets out here. Like that was supposed to prove something. First Amendment, freedom of the press. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Um, this isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. Under here is Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No. 